So this morning we're in the incredibly picturesque town of Civitella Messa Raimondo. It does seem like it's way in the mountains, but believe it or not, we're just less than 40 minutes away from the beach. up in the town I do pick my days to do these videos don't I looks like uh, we've got we've got snow heading our way apparently this uh, this weekend but this area I live in this area myself uh, we get very little snow if we get a few days a year then that's about it so this is part of the castle walls in the center of Civitella and just look at some of this scenery here just got a wall of mountains Here they have lots of tourism, tourism for the war tourism. This is actually part of the Gustav line in uh, World War II. I'm sure you can read about that on the internet. But there's lots of tourism for that. Memorial there for the fallen. And there's quite a bit of work going off in the in the village, which is uh, which is good. But the view from here down to the local town of Faro San Martino is absolutely superb. They're doing work on some of the council buildings. I don't know if you can see behind the tree, there's gonna be a new bar there. And then they're working also on the, on the church. I'll show you a little bit of the old town. And from here, you get that fantastic view, looking down to Faro San Martino which is a brilliant town. So as you can see, you're really close. I can actually, closest supermarket is the green, probably can't see it, but this building here, so from the house, a few minutes away. And this is absolutely incredible, uh, incredible scenery. And then down, choose my moments just for the church bells. This is the old town of Faro San Martino, which is famous for making Di Cecco Pasta. I suppose it's just adding to the atmosphere, isn't it? This. And here we have the Gol, Gol di San Martino. Gol di San Martino is a, a cut in the mountainside. There's an old monastery there. We're talking over a thousand years of story. Absolutely incredible to view. I always find it where people like to shout and start their cars just at the time when I'm explaining. <laughs> I'm not doing it again, it just shows that we're live. It truly is magnificent. And then working our way along this way, we have towns such as Lama di Pelina. There's cable cars that take you into the mountain. Absolutely beautiful. Then on to places such as Pesco Costanzo and the main ski resort Rocarasso. We'll just have a little walk into the centre. Unfortunately there is scaffolding on the church but it's great that you can see that there's uh, development happening. This has had a, a new front done as well which is part of the, the castle. Again, still have uh, Christmas decorations, but that's, we're getting used to that now, I think, on the last few videos. <laughs> I suppose we are still early January. And that's heading down into the, into the old part of town. And the property is in, is in that direction. Five minute walk and you'll be down, down at the house. As you can see, some of the properties have revealed some stone. Always looks fantastic. I do think it would be worth doing more of that in that uh, in the property that uh, that we're going to show you. Obviously still working on this. Lovely entrance way. Fresco. Great place to come and visit. An even better place to own a property. So we'll head down to the house and have a look at 
Have a look at this great property. Okay, so just to let you know that the property is made of stone. You can see signs of that here. So if you did want to reveal stones on any walls, then, then you can do that. So when we walk in, we've got a small hallway. We've still got the original, original doors, which is a, a, a nice feature. The corridor, which I'll show you in a second. All the electrics uh, being done here. And we're straight into the kitchen and dining area. Working fireplace in the middle, in the middle, sorry, in the corner with a, uh, with a stove. And again, we have some original features for storage, which is great to have these. It's a well, well equipped kitchen. So this place is coming furnished. So the fridge, washing machine, things like that are all part, part of it. Again, as I said, there are stone walls. So beyond this plaster work, you could actually reveal some stone if you chose to do that. At the moment, the table obviously is placed near the window, but there is space, more than enough space on this side to have, uh, have the table. So a good, a great size, great size kitchen with absolutely beautiful views as well. Again, heading down towards the coastline, which you should be able to see in the middle of the picture. Okay, so coming out of the kitchen, we have a little bit of storage uh, around here. Coming out of the kitchen, they've laid this out to suit um, a holiday home um, because there are three bedrooms in this property in total. And what they've done is this where we are now, this wall has been added at a, a later time. Um, to create a bedroom which is a, a great size great size bedroom but if you wanted to this wall on the left could be taken out and this could become a living room they've actually put the living room upstairs at the moment uh, because then it leads out onto a terrace so you have got options with this but at the moment this is used as a, a spare bedroom there's another bedroom upstairs and then in the surprise area downstairs you'll see the third. Again, this has storage using the original, original doors, which is good. And from the outside, I have noticed that there used to be a window in this area. So again, that could possibly be opened again, if needed. Then at the end of this corridor is a large bathroom really nicely done very nice tiles all the sanitary wear is new good size shower at the moment this is the only bathroom in the property but there is space in the bedroom upstairs in my opinion to have a, 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 an ensuite as you can see with the radiators, they're all, they're all new and the windows, they are the original windows so they do have shutters on the, on the inside. These can be changed if needed. Okay, now we will make our way upstairs. Okay, so making our way up the stairs. The lounge area has been put into what used to be a bedroom. But it does actually work quite well up here because the kitchen's a good size to, uh, to be able to eat and, and things like that and just use the, uh, the living room for the evening time. And the nice thing is that it has access to a terrace which I will sh show you uh, shortly. Again, the original doors have been kept, which is a nice touch. 
And at the other side, we have a good size double bedroom. Again, there's quite a bit of furniture in here. It is a, it is a big room, I can easily take it. You've got quite a large wardrobe there. And also, we have a little balcony just off this bedroom, which obviously we are on the outskirts of the, of the town, but it's still nice to look out and, and see people. And we said that you won't see a soul today. <laughs> so the center is, there's a couple of ways to it, up here and to the left, or straight ahead and over to the right. I'll take a video of the center shortly. Parking, this space here, doesn't belong to the property, but it's always available. And also just parking along here is possible as well. So there's parking close to the house. Another thing to note, the floors, the original flooring, which work really nice. And what I would say with this bedroom, my opinion is that it's big enough to have an ensuite in this corner using this wardrobe space that's quite quite a good size but you could easily section it off here and and have a, a bathroom in this corner that could be done in my opinion with no problem obviously I would need to bring an architect or a geometer here but I'm fairly confident that we could do that and you wouldn't lose any space really in the bedroom at all Oops, okay, so I'm going to make my way out to the first terrace of the lounge and you'll see why they chose, chose to use this as a, a lounge this is the first one this is the smaller one of the two, so obviously there is a staircase to take you up there, but you can easily get out here with a table, a couple of chairs, and you've got beautiful views. All round you really. Obviously we're in winter time, so the trees are a little bit brown and everything else, but uh, it's still magnificent. And again, looking up towards towards the old town at the back. And over in the distance there is the town of Palombaro. So here you're really close to many towns and villages, including Palombaro, Casali, Faro San Martino. It's uh, close to the coast, close to skiing, excellent location. Okay, so now we'll show you the roof terrace and then I'll show you the surprise area. Okay, so onto the surprise area. Obviously that's the main main entrance where we've been in. Terraces, terrace just off the lounge and obviously one up on the roof. So this is the, the extra area. They've made a really good job in here. This also leads into the garden area you can see that the house was originally stone some beautiful features here and a really clever use of the of the space so they've created an area a seating area which will give you shade on those hot days this is all part of the garden 
You can see these beautiful stone arches. So if you wanted, you, you could recreate this type of thing upstairs by taking off the plaster work and revealing some stonework. In future videos, we're going to show you some restoration projects on how this works and roughly how much it is to do it. So this is completely independent. And here's the third bedroom, which is a superb space. Enough room for a double bed. That one's a slightly small double bed, but you could easily get a full-size double bed and a single bed if needed. Here's the, the shower area. Like a, a wet room more than anything, but still lots of space. And then in this area, at the moment, they have an office area, but they've actually put the plumbing in. I don't know if you can see this part. For to have a, a kitchen down here. So you could have a maybe a two meter kitchen that you can pick up extremely cheap here in Italy. Maybe have a small dining area and a little sofa and then move the bed further across the, across the wall. Or maybe even against this wall. Again, the beautiful Myla stone. It really is a, a beautiful looking stone. And again, the window gives, gives us the views towards the sea and overlooking the garden area again. Okay, there's still more to show you. I'll show you another couple of uh, big rooms downstairs that could all be developed in this wonderful, wonderful property. From the apartment, from the mini apartment, we lead down into the garden area. Obviously it goes up to this, this wall here. They're trying to keep it as low maintenance as possible because it's currently used as a holiday home. They are, did start doing some work to create a, a decking area to have a barbecue and that kind of thing. But it's a great size garden. It's such a, it's so well done. There's lots of potential here. And lots of nice stone as well that you could use to create different areas. And obviously looking at the property then from here, completely different aspect. You can see it is quite a large property. When I was telling you about the bedroom that was downstairs saying that there was a window before, you can actually see there that used to be the, what looks like an old windowsill. So uh, that could potentially be opened up again if needs be. And then in here, we have what's used for storage at the moment, but places like this could be turned into accommodation as well. Fantastic as storage, but Imagine creating a mini apartment down here with some of these features. It's got power down here. But this would be a superb project. Yes, there's not a lot of light down here, but that's, that's the way these are supposed to be. Originally used for animals and used for hanging sausages, prosciutto, that kind of thing. But just because there's no windows, you, you just may keep it full of character. And, and that's just the style. That's the way it is. These places look fantastic when they're done up. There is a little bit of a window there. And obviously the door, instead of having a solid door, you could have a glass one. And there's another little bit of a window there and there. So you do get some natural light. But just imagine this completely completely restored with all these archways and little cave areas it would just be absolutely 
superb. And then you have, you'll have plumbing because above there's plumbing for the the small bathroom uh, in the in the downstairs mini apartment, if you like. So it would be we would be able to get plumbing down here with no problem. It would just make a fantastic addition to the house, or maybe even a a taverna, as it's known in, in Italy, which is a place where you would normally have a kitchen, big dining table, uh, maybe a bit of a lounge area, and when you have guests round for dinner, barbecues, things like that, then everybody goes into the taverna rather than in the main house. Absolutely superb. So much potential here. But the great thing is it's habitable already. So you can move straight in and then decide over time what you want to, uh, what you want to do. And even from the garden, you got those beautiful views, again, looking down towards the coast. So my final thoughts on this property, superb, simple as that. Great place, lots of potential, lots of development potential, but it's just ready to go as well at the same time. So they're all things you can just take your time with. It's also very difficult to find a property in a village or a town with a garden. Not only does it have the garden, it has those two incredible terraces. And then I really believe that the garden area and the, the big canteen at the bottom has just got so much potential to be developed into something really, really, really special. Whether it is similar to a taverna, as I mentioned before, or maybe a mini apartment. It would just be, uh, it would just finish this place off. Maybe it could be used as rental while you live in the top part of the property. Lots and lots of options here. Fabulous property, beautiful town. There's bar, there's a bar, there's pharmacist, uh, but you're only a couple of minutes outside of Faro San Martino. So very close to supermarkets and all the rest of it and some great restaurants around. You're also close to the, the Lake of Casoli, which is beautiful there. They do rafting, fishing, and there's a fantastic lake on there as well. Close to Palombaro, Faro San Martino, Guardia Grel, Casoli. Less than 45 minutes to the main ski resort. Less than 40 minutes to the coast. Absolutely superb. Hope you like this video. Please give us a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell sign as well to get notifications when we do more videos like this. And remember that every Thursday we do our live streaming sessions on both YouTube and Facebook. Make sure you join us, there we talk about the legal, legal aspects of buying a property in Italy, restoring and living here. So please make sure you join, join us every Thursday and if you don't manage to see us live you can always watch it afterwards as it will be left on, on YouTube. Thanks for joining us, we'll see you soon.